guys, thanks for coming to hang out with me again today. It's your girl Cassie Sam, right back with another video. If this is your first time here, comment down below, I'm new. So I can personally welcome you. If this isn't your first time here, comment down below, I'm back, so we can get this party started. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys this brand new mod. Thank you so much to Ozzy and Mariam for sending me this mod to review. Um, I did take some time and kind of like behind the scenes go over some things. So there are some things I want to point out about this mod, but overall I really love it. And I want to show it to you guys today. So here is our character, Megan Gates. And she has already started using this machine. I wanted you guys to see like the animation. They did a really, really good job with this. Um, so right now she is practicing on paper and I love the machine. It looks so cute. I love that it's engraved and the Ozzy and Miriam on there. And then it also comes with this rack here that you can hang your designs on after when you're finished. So when you click on this, um, there's practice on paper, there's check supplies, so you can buy fabric, buy buttons, buy thread and needles, buy zippers, check inventory, patterns and designs, so you can draw casual patterns, draw gown patterns, draw tuxedo patterns, draw a satin jumpsuit, draw a toddler dress, toddler jumpsuits, and then retro sewing is when you can actually like sew it. So, we already practiced on paper, so... Let's do patterns and designs next. Let's do draw casual patterns. So she's gonna sit here. Oh, that's so cute. I think the um, the way she's holding the pencil is a little odd, but other than that, I love how the paper does start out blank and then gradually you do see the designs that she is drawing. All right, so she's done with that. I believe once you're done with your patterns, you can go ahead and buy fabric, and then let's buy some buttons. Let's get everything that we need, buy thread and needles, um, and buy some zippers. So that way, when she's ready to start sewing, she'll have everything that she needs. Because I believe if you try to sew it, it'll tell you what you need. So you can buy according to what you're making or you can just buy everything like I just did. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew the casual since I already drew the patterns for it. So let's see. It says zip it up. Megan Gates, a zipper a day makes the clothes stay. We do not want a nip slip scandalous. That's funny. So here we go, look at the clothes, how it just popped up like that. So I guess this is her first casual outfit. So let's see what happens if we try to sew something without drawing it. It says you need to draw its design first, so I love that. Um, let's see, patterns and designs. Let's do draw a satin jumpsuit. Let's do that next. And then I want to check supplies to see how much stuff we already use. It says fabric, we have 9 units left, buttons 12 units left, zippers 12, thread and needles 9. Okay, perfect. So let's see if we can go ahead and try sewing satin jumpsuit. And I wonder if that shows up in her skills. Oh, yep, sewing is a skill. It says the art of sewing is delicate, making perfect seams, designing your pieces to a custom to any body shape and size, a combination of patience and perfection, this is the very basis of a civilized society to cover up. The skill allows you to secure the bag as you embark on your fashionista journey. That is a cute jumpsuit. So I want to see if there's different types of jumpsuits. Like, or is that going to be the only one? So it looks like probably the only one. It's that same red fabric. I wonder if there's like a job that she can do now, a career. So yeah, it's the same jumpsuit. I wish there were different patterns that you could do. Or maybe as she increases in skill. Mm. Nope, there's not a career. Um, all right, so now let's try something else. Oh, let's do a toddler dress. Draw a toddler dress. Wait, is she, um, oh no, 
All right, so she drew the toddler dress, and now let's sew the toddler dress. Come here, where are you? Go sew the toddler dress. Does she not have enough? Oh, she needs more stuff, okay. So let's re-up our supplies. Let's buy more fabric. Let's buy more zippers. So she needs two fabric units, one zipper, and two thread bundles. All right, thread bundles, all right. And now let's go ahead and sew this. And now she is sewing level two. Megan ha now has a 15% chance of making a fashion statement piece. Practice makes perfect. Oh, that is so cute. Look at that little dress. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, so one thing I did notice though with this mod, this might just happen in my game because I do have other CC in my game. But when I tried to place it, oh, it's fine now. For some reason, when I tried to place the first one, it disappeared. But now it looks like it's fine. Hmm. Okay. So maybe that was fixed. Um, so now let's have her try some of them on. So you can set up Etsy shop, Simstagram it, SimTalk it, tweeze it, or wear it. So let's start with set up Etsy shop. Where people can buy our designs. Just open Etsy shop, damn soon the money will rain in. Um, Simstagram it. We gotta promote our designs, you know? Oh, looks like a few sims are following Megan. I wonder what would happen if the creation would be shared on Etsy. I already shared it on Etsy. Sim talk it. All right, so it looks like it's the same animation. I thought she was probably gonna like do different things. So let's, um, oh, sell on Etsy? Let's see how much money we can get for that. Looks like no one is interested in buying your clothing. Maybe you should try to gain more recognition in social media. Really? Come on, sell. Really? Let's try selling this one. Oh, maybe when we get... Come on, you guys have got to get the toddler dress. Really? No? Alright, let's tweeze it and sim talk it. See if more people start following us. Alright, so now let's try it. Sell on Etsy. <laughs> Still nothing. Still nothing. Alright, so now let's try to go ahead and wear it. Oh, dang, she changed fast. Oh, I don't know if this is like her best look, but... Um, so, another thing that I noticed is when you change into one of these creations, all of your outfits turn into it. Like, you can't just change out of it. You do have to go into... And now she has to meet her neighbors like this. <laughs> Well, they're looking kind of crazy too. But um, you do have to go back into Create a Sim to get out of that outfit. Which is kind of annoying. <gasps> Wait, no, where are all the outfits? Did it just take all my outfits? Well, you see firsthand what happens with this mod. I don't know how to change this. Can we just take it off? It changed all their outfits to this. This is not good. Oh, they do have different colors in it though. Oh, that's not it. Yeah, they only have that one color. So that's a glitch. You guys see for yourself here. You gotta be careful when you put these things on because, oh, this is a cute dress. Your sim may get stuck in it. So I would suggest not to wear it until the creator actually fixes that glitch, but maybe just sell it, I don't know. But yeah, so this is my full and honest review. You know what, guys, I have to be honest with you guys and show you everything, even the glitches, because I want you to, uh -huh. you know, be fully aware before you purchase something so yeah let me know 
what you guys think about this mod i think it's a great idea i do think that it needs some fix so that is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video i will see you guys tomorrow bye